You got it. What do you think? Where's your vote of confidence? How do you think your Uncle Jack has got the knack or what? You think your Uncle Jack is exceptional, don't you? Hmm? What? Yes. He agrees. Oh, no, 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 no. What I think I heard him say was, when this fumble-fingered lummox gets done dressing me, the minute he stands me up, everything's going to fall down around my ankles he like that diaper did the other day. He's not thinking that. Said? Listen, I tell you what. His mama thinks that Uncle Jack is exceptional, too. I'll buy and give you two a break. <laughs> Work must be piling up on your desk at the office, Jack. Yeah, it is starting to pile up some. But listen, we're still on for the park later, right? I mean, unless you and Tom have made some other plans. Well, no, you have to go back to the club, right? In a while. So I'm counting on the park, especially now that you have mastered the art of diaper changing. Oh, yeah, if I could just master the art of missing my thumb with those pins, we'd be in business. Let's just hope my luck holds, huh? Yeah, I hope so. If he starts howling when we're in the park, I'm just going to walk away and let everyone think he's yours. Oh, nice. You'd do that, too, wouldn't you? <laughs> I would. You... <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Listen, I'm going to go and, and check and make sure that my little boy is okay. I'll do that for you. No, no, I'll do it. I need the exercise. Thank you. Well, thanks, Tom. That's some terrific kid you got there. Yeah, he's the best. Well, thanks again for all your help, Jack. Well, you know, that sounded a little bit like, uh, here's your hat, what's your hurry? Jamie's asleep. There isn't much you can do. I mean, you do have an office to run. Yeah. Yeah, I do. But this, uh, this doesn't sound like just concern about my law practice, Tom. Well, am I wrong? Am I? You don't want me seeing Brooke and Jamie anymore, do you? No, I don't. Makes you uh, feel this way all of a sudden. Well, let's just say that you've overstayed your welcome. I thought I was just lending a hand. Hey, going don't... home and finding you here, yes. Tom, as far as Brooke is concerned, I'm no threat. I mean, I thought we were just friends. All of us so friends. Look, as a friend, please give us back our privacy. You know, it appears to me that Brooke doesn't quite share your opinion, Tom. Well, I don't really care how it appears to you. Was oh, that right? Yeah. Well, let me put it to you this way. If Brooke asked me to leave, maybe I'll consider it. You're pushing your luck, Jack. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, he's here. It's for you, Jeremy. Thank you. Hello, Jeff. What's up? Oh, my. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there as soon as I get. Listen, though, I think we should bring Livia in on this thing, okay? Exactly. All right, we'll be there as soon as we can. All right, bye. Are you all right? Yeah, look, I've, uh, I've got to go, though. Well, what about the park? Well, look, can we leave it that if I can make it back here in time, we'll do the park thing? Okay, yeah, whenever you get back. You're always welcome. Thanks. You heard what I said to Jack? Yes, I did. And I don't like it one bit. And I don't like having him here every time I come through the door. Look, the last thing I need is for you to get possessive and start warning my male friends to stay away. I had more than enough of that when I was with Adam. Forget it. So that we can build our own relationship. Is that a crime? No, it's not a crime. We're going to be married soon. Start a whole new life together. Unless Jack is changing your mind about that. What? He cares for you a great deal. As a friend. Well, I think Jack would like to be more than just your friend. Maybe that's what you want. You are being ridiculous. Am I? Yes. I'm not even going to justify your suggestion with an argument. It is so far-fetched. No, wait, 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 wait. The way he looks at you, the way he behaves when he's around you, you can't tell me you haven't noticed that. The only thing that I notice is his care and his devotion to Jamie and his consideration. Anything else is a product of your very overactive imagination. Uh, no, look, maybe I'm wrong. You are. Then I apologize. No, Brooke, I love you. I love Jamie. The thought of losing both of you just plain scares me. You worry too much. Yeah. I guess you're right.
You okay? Yeah. I just need to get out, I guess. I need some air. The doctor said, you know, I should I should walk as much as I can, so. That's too bad Jamie's asleep. We could all go together. Would you mind very much if you watched him just for a little while? No, no, not at all. You have a good walk. Okay, thanks. I won't be gone very long. Brooke. Adam. Should you be walking? Uh, doctor's orders. Good, good. Uh, would you like to sit down and rest? For... Oh, no, no, thanks. I'm fine. Brooke, wait. You're the only person in the world who can help me. Do respect her wishes. But it's tough having your own child think you're scum. Do you think telling her that you're her father is going to change her I'm not her going to tell her. I'm not going to tell her. But keeping quiet isn't easy. It's never easy to consider somebody else's needs before your own. I've tried everything I know how to, 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 to break down that, that mistrust. Gradually, I mean, I haven't tried to steamroll her, but she's so stubborn. Like father, like daughter? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. She, the spitfire of a temper of hers and a mouth on her? Oh. And spirit? Well, she's a fighter and, and loyal. She loves Arlene. She would fight anybody in the world for Arlene. Well, that speaks well of Arlene. Yeah, Arlene is a fighter, too. To kick the sauce right when she wanted to drink the most. I don't believe people realize how tough that is for an alcoholic. Not unless you've gone through it in one way or another. How is Tom? Tom is okay. And Jamie? Jamie is the joy of my life. Arlene gave me a baby picture of Haley. She's she was the prettiest little girl you've ever seen. Haley is a very pretty girl. Oh, and smart. Mind that clicks along at warp speed and, and funny. Some of the things they come out of her mouth, as insulting as they are, I really have to laugh. You're really beginning to care about her? It's scaring the hell out of me. It scares you? Well, it just raises the stakes so high if I can't win Haley's trust getting hurt is a risk that you take when you love somebody I know I should be walking really thanks for listening you know Adam if you could really change if you could make your peace with Trevor and Natalie, you could have a real chance with your daughter. Hack. Yeah, yeah. I hope you don't mind. No, no, it's it's okay. Um, listen, Jack. If you know, if any, if this is about what Tom said to you no, earlier. No, 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 nothing about that at all. I just wanted to. I just felt like I needed to see you and Jamie, that's all. Is everything okay? Yeah, sure. How you doing, big guy, huh? Hey, things still on. It's pretty good, huh? Well, they're really amazing, aren't they? Yeah, oh, he's happy. He just had a bottle. <laughs> Such gifts. They come into this world so innocent, so vulnerable, and then... When I see him, I just want to... just want to pick him up and put him under my wing and protect him and love him. Keep him safe. How can somebody... How can somebody hurt a child, bro? And how the hell can an adult stand there and watch it happen? Oh, I'll get it for you. No, 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 Such a good time. Let oh, me go well, get it. I'll be right back. All right. I'm getting my exercise, too, huh? One. Oh, Brooke, my goodness, I would have thought a new baby would keep you very busy. Excuse me? Obviously, you have too much time on your hands. Otherwise, why in the world would you be spending your time trying to analyze me? Well, when a high-powered career woman follows her ex around, it doesn't take a lot of time to figure out why. 
You think that I'm, I'm following Jack? Isn't that why you're here? Well, you know, it just so happens I was visiting someone in the hospital. It's pretty more cheering, though. I just thought it was a lovely day. I thought I would cut through the park. Well, don't let us keep you. Well, you don't ever fail to uh, disappoint me, Brooke. You can annoy me like no one else. I think it's because I see through you. Oh, yeah, you have famous X-ray vision. Oh. You know, when you don't have a man in your life, watch out. I beg your pardon. Unlike you, I don't need a man to make my life worthwhile. As a matter of fact, I would rather live without one than to live with the wrong one. You know, I shouldn't lower myself to her level. You didn't lower yourself anywhere, yes, Brooke. I did. No, you yes, did not. I did, and I'm sorry that I did. Don't have anything to be sorry about. Does she? She gets to me. Yeah, well, she gets to everybody. Obviously gets to you. Yeah, she does, but not in the way you think. I'll tell you the truth, I'm glad I saw you. Now I'm positive that I'm just absolutely, really over. 